What is going on, my beautiful people? How you all doing? I hope you are having an amazing day. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your Redmi Note 5 wins into a complete Android One device by installing a ROM from Mi A2 Lite. So again, more about the Redmi Note 5. Yep, it has been like not receiving updates since like last October. It was actually getting beta builds until like November, but still almost like into the fourth month of 2019, and there is not a single update for Redmi Note 5. So again, as I kind of thought that Xiaomi has actually released this phone just to justify the price of the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and that. And now as Redmi Note 5 Pro even is aging, there are like two more phones after it like the Note 6 Pro and the Note 7 Pro. Redmi Note 5 is kind of the thing from the past. Yep. It's kind of hard to agree, but still, it's been like November and it hasn't got a beta build, which is like sums up everything what Xiaomi is thinking about this phone. But literally, it would be getting like MIUI 11, 12, but seriously, not that as updated as another devices. Like they get weekly updates. Then again, Redmi Note 4 even was getting more updates than this thing, which is, I don't know what Xiaomi is doing, but let's just take a look. So again, as you can see, this is your home screen, a complete Android one experience over here and then again it just works amazing again if you're noticing why there are two cameras over here one is uh, MI cam again the MI cam just works fine over here as you can see you can record video and stuff 1080p 60fps is also available then again you have normal modes but the portrait mode doesn't work on both back and the front over here which is kind of sad I mean it's just crashes so for portrait mode you always has the option for G cam yep in Gcam portrait mode and everything just works fine. Again, the HDR is just out of the world on Gcam and it just works great. Again, this is the stable official Pi update for the Mi A2 Lite. So again, pretty stable enough. You get FM radio, all the MI apps like Mi files. Then again, you have Mi community and stuff. Also the Mi store, I guess it says flash sale over there. Then again, not a lot of MI apps. As you can see, pretty stock experience. You do get Mi Drop, which is kind of handy. Then again, all the apps are just completely stock, like a complete pixel experience. Like you can just go to the phone app. Again, a very flat UI, looks pretty great. If you go to the messages, again, extremely flat and plain UI. And then talking about the general UI, this is your system UI. Again, my permission is requested for some kind of, okay, this is the keyboard. Again, you can expand it more for your more toggles. Again, this is Android Pie. So latest and the greatest of Android. Then you can just swipe it up. If you want to do a recent task panel, just swipe it over here. You can also use the normal navbar, but I just love the gestures. Then again, you can just swipe like this. Again, if you want to access more options, just tap over here. Like split screen and the app info. Pretty handy stuff. But then let's just hop on to the settings. Again, if you come to the settings, very plain UI. Of course, you get about phone on the top rather than being at the bottom, just like MIUI. Android version 9, security patch January 5, which is much better than what you get officially. Build number is PKQ1. Again, all the Xiaomi phones are on PKQ1. No one is using PQ1A, which is the latest version of Android Pie. It also has a newer Easter egg, not like this one. You get a sketchboard and then the color of the P just keeps on changing, but not available over here. Getting to the battery and stuff, you get all the bells and whistles from Android Pie, like the adaptive battery, if you go here, it tracks down all of your apps and just do this and just optimizes them according to your usage. Pretty great option. Then you have display, in display, nothing much. You get adaptive brightness, again, a beautiful animation for it. I mean, display does actually work great over here. For example, if you just turn it on, it's on the always on display. Now this is an LCD panel, so I'm not recommending this to you guys, but you can just keep it like this and it just works great to be honest. Again, the black levels of these panels are just great. But you can always use it for notifications too. Again, the fingerprint scanner is pretty fast like a tap. There you go. You can always keep it for notifications only and it's pretty handy. Then your device in VR, you have a device theme. So automatic based on wallpaper, it just collects data from the wallpaper API and just sets the theme. As you can see, the wallpaper is pretty dark and there is a teal greenish theme over here. That's why it's just set it to this color. Again, this is not a system wide theme. For example, it doesn't do anything inside the settings app as you can see itself, but uh, you can just always choose it for dark and light, whatever you like. You also have double tap to wake working over here. So if you don't want the notifications just to be displayed on your ambient display, you don't want it. Now going to the sound as this is an Android one device, it must be having me sound enhancer, but it just doesn't work over here. So you can always use your favorite Dolby Atmos or anything that you like, like even Viper FX, your storage, security and location, in security and location. There is no face unlock in this device, I guess. Of course you can go to the smart lock, but I don't think it has trusted face. Got it. Oh, you do have trusted face, so you can actually enroll your face over here. So just hit next, allow. The lighting is pretty poor over here. Like it can barely see my face. There you go. My face has been enrolled. Done. Let's just try to unlock. Oh wow, it's pretty fast. So you do get face unlock and fingerprint scanner over here. Pretty great. You have MI services, which are just of no use. 
then collecting basic data you also have digital well-being over here this basically tracks down again all of your apps and what you have actually done so for example settings i have wasted my most time on then again you have pretty much how many times you are unlocked today then how many notifications you have got today you also went down then going to the system nothing much over here just your system update which you don't have to touch at all and also the gestures in gestures you have swipe up on fingerprint scanner then again jump to the camera swipe up on home which is basically the gestures as you can see turned back to normal nav bar and prevent ringing that's pretty much it now how you can install this rom well it's pretty much easy you have to just unlock your bootloader i know it takes like half a month but still it's worth it that xiaomi has completely just stopped development for it so if you unlock the bootloader there are many chances again guys if you want to stay updated with the redmi note 5 and just get info about what i don't actually post on my youtube channel you can always follow me on instagram and just stay updated like this i have been posted and using this rom for a week just to present to you guys also i've been testing miui pi from redmi note 7 onto the redmi note 5 and again it just works great so if you want to just stay updated with it follow me on instagram and let's just get to the installation so hop onto your pc now once you open your pc and unlock the phone bootloader you have to just download this four files yeah, only four files can make your redmi note 5 into a mia2 light and then just power off your phone press power and volume down at the same time in order to go to the fast boot mode connect the phone to your pc just like that go to this adb folder open cmd then type in fast boot devices there you go a random number and fast boot that means our device has been successfully connected then type in fast boot flash recovery now in order to flash the recovery right now we are using an orange for recovery because the stock top recovery doesn't just work that well when it comes to the pre treble roms like not the normal sgsis so you are just going to the orange fox zip then just drag out this recovery.img and just place it right over here hit enter there you go our recovery has been successfully flashed then just hop onto your phone and press power and volume up at the same time once the mi logo is up just let go now for of course reasons you must be on the mi 10 oreo and i don't really think that mi 10 oreo can actually mount torp so again as you can see if it doesn't show your normal sd card over here you have to just go to wipe format data type in yes this is quite actually necessary to just avoid some bugs so you have to just format your data and then again back up everything before there you go then just go to wipe and once wipe dalvik system data cache vendor just swipe to wipe this also triplizes your phone then again go to home and just uh, come to your pc go into this pc there you go redmi 5 plus that means our redmi note 5 then just drag in this gcam and mi to light for wins and just wait till it copies itself once both of the files have been copied, just go to install, mi to light port, swipe to install. This will take two to three minutes. And that was pretty quick. Unlock, reboot system, and voila, you have successfully flashed Android 1 on your Redmi Note 5. Now again, the main booting will take almost like three to five minutes. Once the phone is back up, just hit start, skip. I don't have any sims in this phone, skip, continue. Next, more, accept next skip not now skip anyway now once you set up the phone as you can see there is no file manager in order to install the gcam so in order to just do that connect to the wi-fi if you haven't already done that into the setup so let me just put in my password once you put in the password just sign it into the gmail it should probably actually ask for updating or installing all the bloatware but for some odd weird reason the option is just not coming up so we will just install a third party file manager over here oh no there you go install all or review the apps so again, I just don't want all the apps just right now. I will just like the file manager. So let's just install that. Okay. Wow, the sound effects are interesting. Once the file manager has been installed, just go to it. Accept, allow, just go to APKs. There you go, Gcam is there. Just allow the permission to install the APK. Install and just open the Gcam. Now right off the bat, the ported mode must not be working over here. So you have to just go and enable it. Once the Gcam has been set up, you just don't need the motion photo who uses that. If you just go to the portrait mode, uh, it won't do anything as you can see. It doesn't click a picture. So you have to just go to settings, turn off noise suppression. Once the Gcam has been restarted, you have to just go to settings and turn it back on in order to prevent pink tint. And if you now go to portrait mode, the portrait mode must be working as you can see. There you go, it clicks pictures. Let's just start with the front camera. I seriously don't know why it needed flash, but there you go. 
as you can see portrait mode is finally working and yeah guys that's pretty much it on how you can install android one on your redmi note 5 i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more videos on the wins please subscribe down there again if you find this helpful please share it with your redmi note 5 groups and your tech groups it would be a lot of help and see you guys in the next one peace